It's all for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in 1 Samuel chapter 9, where in the first four verses we have the new king of Israel ready to be anointed. The people wanted a man from the tribe of Benjamin, which was strike one, because Benjamin had become the new Sodom and was dethroned and cast down as a tribe in Judges chapter 20. So the people of God should have been very careful about choosing someone from that tribe at this time. Strike two is in 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 2. The people wanted a man who would be king simply from his outward appearance. This man Saul was tall, he was handsome. And so we are told that the uh, people wanted this king who was very elegant looking. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, in John chapter 7, verse 24, said, Do not judge by outward appearance, but with a righteous judgment. Strike three would be in 1 Samuel chapter 9, verses 3 and 4, where we see Saul can't even find a few missing donkeys. And so you ask yourself, why would these people want this person to be king who can't even find some lost donkeys? Thank God we would finally have the ultimate king of kings who would find his lost sheep which is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. But the one thing I wanted to pinpoint on today is the outward appearance. We often judge people by how they look outwardly. How often young men go for women, uh, especially sadly now with this pornography, which is a very bad addiction in America. And they visualize how a woman looks on the internet and that's how a woman should be in life. And a lot of times those men will wind up staying single for the rest of their lives because they're looking for a Barbie doll that doesn't exist in their life. How many women go for a man simply because he's tall and handsome and yet uh, he's the devil in disguise? We are told in the Bible that our King, our King of Kings, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, there was nothing outwardly that was beautiful about him. Contrary to what you might see on TV where there's movies depicting Jesus, as this handsome person. Isaiah chapter 53 verse two tells us that there was nothing beautiful in him outwardly, but his heart was the most beautiful of hearts. We are told in 2 Corinthians chapter five verse 12, the apostle Paul was basically telling the people of Corinth, which was a very wicked church, not to judge or glory in outward appearance, but what's in the heart. Christ himself in his day had most of his trouble with the people called the Pharisees, the religious people of his day. And in Matthew chapter 23, he gave what's called seven woes. One of those woes, Matthew chapter 23, verse 27 to these Pharisees was that Christ depicted them as people as like whitewashed tombs full of dead men's bones. Outwardly, the tombs look beautiful. But inwardly, they were full of corruption and greed and sin. And that's how people can be in life, brothers and sisters. Outwardly, outwardly they could look like an angel, but inwardly, they're a devil in disguise. God looks at the heart. We have that classic story in 1 Samuel chapter 16, when Samuel went to a town called Bethlehem, met up with a man by the name of Jesse. Isn't that interesting? A thousand years before Jesus would, would be born in Bethlehem, that there would be a man by the name of Jesse, very close to the name Jesus. But Jesse had eight sons. And then one of these sons was going to be next king of Israel. And Jesse said to Samuel, surely it's one of these boys. Seven boys came up and every one of them was more handsome and tall and better looking than the next one. But Samuel said, no, there has to be someone else. And Jesse said, yeah, but there's a little tiny boy I have out in the... Uh, out in the fields tending the sheep he's a little shepherd boy and his name was David and that would be the next king why because we're told in first Samuel chapter 16 verse 7 man looks at the outward heart but God lo man looks at the outward appearance but God looks at the heart you see David we're told we were foretold in first Samuel chapter 13 verse 14 was a man after God's own heart that's who God wants God's not worried about how handsome and good looking you are how beautiful and how much how many curves you have in your body. God wants your heart, my brothers and sisters. That is what he's looking for. He's looking for people that are going to serve him from the heart. 
I hope today's devotional video, my friends, will help us all to look at the problems that the Israelites had in trying to have a king that looked outwardly so handsome and tall, but yet he couldn't find a couple of lost donkeys and came from a very wicked tribe. Here in America, we vote for presidents and politicians simply because of the preferences, personal preferences, or maybe because of the color of their skin uh, that is like our color of our skin. That's all pride. And as you often hear me say, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34, James chapter 4, verse 6, and 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 5, God opposes the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in Christ. We'll see this devotional video today. Lord, I pray that we would humble ourselves and remember that you examine the heart. Help us to have hearts that are truly after you, Lord God, in a culture that's so worried about the outward appearance. Father God, I pray that many who see this will follow you faithfully to Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Walk by the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, this day. It is Sunday, and if providentially speaking, you could get to church, so do it. God bless.